Hello, we are back. We are entering episode four of The Man from Assyrian, the Audition Edition, running Pathfinder Society's The Infernal Vault. And why? Well, because it's fun, because Pathfinder Society is, the, the adventures are really cool, really cool spy stuff. And the reason we are making this stuff public in podcast and possibly vodcast, and all this stuff, of course, this vodcast aspect will come early to you, but only if you subscribe to our Patreon. $5 tier unlocks quite a bit of extra content, bonus content, which we are going to start to restrict just for you, or at the very least, you certainly will get it ahead of time for those diehard fans, and you will help us greatly. Because by unlocking these tiers, you allow someone like myself to go from full-time work at, in the real life into like a part-time gig, and I can do this full-time, editing several shows. We have shows on the way. We have a evil campaign coming up the Pathfinder Adventure Path Hell's Vengeance with an entire evil party. Watch for the Foul Play podcast coming to you hopefully sooner than later, but definitely this year. We have possibly sticking our toes. We are auditioning right now for the steampunk version of Pathfinder Pure Steam. Watch for that. And all this you can find quite easily on our new website, updated. Thank you so much. To those that have helped us with that and a special shout out to our new cast member and audition e ashley florence who has been a great help well actually everyone has all of the additionees are even I, I i hate to say it even the intern has been quite helpful this last month to rollmongers so i'm thanking the new crew i'm definitely thanking my old crew and cast aiden willems frank hamilton for always showing up extra time extra early and doing lots of extra stuff that i should be doing that I don't have time for rollmongers.com is where you will find us and of course for the straight podcast aspect we are on soundcloud we are on spreaker stitcher spotify itunes of course leave us a review guys leave a comment we want to hear from you and not to mention it does help boost our ratings so that you don't have to tell your friends the world can see it and all you did was some extra clicks i know it's hard to hand out your business card like i do everywhere every guy wearing a bazinga jacket def or t-shirt definitely gets a card from me but then again that's made our hometown number one in our podcast view from glad handing from just reaching out from trying to be friendly from just trying to be and why can't you do that why you'd like the show you're listening to the show we hope you like the show you don't like the show email us anyway tell us what we're doing wrong tell us what we're doing right let us lean towards your particular interest on the role Mongers network and we will listen now back to the show when last we left our heroes the lady foxglove the vigilante of not really any renown. I mean, first level, how famous can you be? And it's not like Batman's very worried. But she's doing her thing, showing off some of her tricks, bamboozling, biting, and bewildering these bad people. I mean, seriously, who puts an old man in the bag? I mean, that's just, that's kind of evil in itself. And I believe it was his go. But this time, well, you know what? I still, we don't really need the turn track. I mean, let's, let's face it. The guy's all but done, is he? Is he? Well, it's my turn. And I'm going to stab at thee. Today, going around the table, we bring back Miss Ashley Pasquale. Cameoing as Foxglove, the Kitsune Vigilante. Haven't seen much of her social identity, which gets one alignment, but we're certainly getting a good taste of the knight running Foxglove. That's all actually allowed a second alignment. It's a pretty interesting class. You should look into it. And at her side, climbing up a rope, netting out of the water, Old Man Arif, played by our staple cast member. And of course, the man from Assyrian is kind of about him. Frank Hamilton is in the house tonight. And the auxiliary cast, fumbling around the doorstep. Ashley Anison Florence is here. We have Jared Mercer filling in, uh, sort of taking a placehold and learning the ropes, because we have more additionees on the way down the road. Got to watch for them. As always, my faithful sidekick who loves to hate me, Aiden Willems, is helping with tech and also a certain wily e. coyote, well, a cat, actually. Everyone's here. Let's get back to it. Dice going out. You feeling lucky? Are you feeling foxy? What do we got going on here? What do we got going on here? Seven. Luck be a lady tonight. That's a miss. I don't get to the second attack. And I don't like you, and I have nasty bite marks on my ankle. I mean, seriously, who who <laughs> bites somebody in the ankle for opening move? 
Foxes do, obviously. Foxes do. Sure they do. Okay, I'll give you that. Who's up? Who's next? If he just went me. That's right. So what do you got to do? What do you got? What are you going to do? Move left. I'm going to slice some of my scissor again. Move left. Move right. No, I'm not, I'm not going to move. No, I mean like you're wiggling in your square. You know, you're just oh. dancing around. Dun, 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 How dun. about you? I love the pink dice you've selected for the virtual role. Like it just pops up there and it's like, yeah, girl power, go. 20 to hit. 20 to hit. Is that a natural 20? I don't believe so. 19 no, plus one. No. Okay. Oh, phew. Lucky me. Now, a lot of weapons people forget have a crit range, which means like even something as simple as a short sword crits on a natural 19 or 20. So does a dagger. Long swords can, you know, rapiers can go as low as 18. People are always waiting for that natural 20. If you've programmed it right in D20, then good for you. But if not, you can't deny yourself. So does the size or is that a natural crit 20 just for double damage? No, I have to check. Okay. It's 20 only. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank so, you. Damage of two. 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 Boy, this guy is getting down. And by getting down, I mean he literally drops to his knees in disbelief as you pluck the curved blade from his ribs. And he falls unconscious and begins to bleed out at your feet. Gl right. glancing, cool, ar glancing around, um... The sailors, the the coming and going. Remember how a whole bunch of people, and you, we tried to do this quietly, and then all of a sudden, like all hell broke loose or whatever. There is, this has all happened in a matter of like twenty seconds, right? So there's confusion down at the dock. I wouldn't say you have a lot of time to like help him, heal him, bag him, rob him, roll him to the. You know what I mean? Like there are people coming down the dock. They see the horse and wagon is empty. There's no, there's no torch on it because he took it. You know, there's a torchlight up at the edge of the dock amongst all the debris and stuff, and he's crying out in pain. Ah, you damn it. You know, like he's chasing... But he's talking about beasts. He's not like, get them or help me, guys. He kind of went it alone. So they think their fellow sailor is kind of like run off and is fighting some wild dog or something. They have no idea. But you do have their attention. And this might sound kind of bad, but can I can I cut his throat? It's called a coup de gras. You may... Can I do that? Yeah. Our classic is you, you take the pointy end of the sword, you point it down over his chest, and you smack the top of your hilt like a ketchup bottle, and just, you know, shh, quiet now, quiet now. That's what we call I mean, ketchup bottle. I can do that with my dagger, but I don't have a sword. No, I'm just saying that's how, in this podcast, we usually say that's a, the coup de grace implied if you ketchup bottle him. Anyway, it is a full round action, so when it comes back to you, you may finish him. But for right now, Old Ben Arif, let's have those climb checks. All right, so I'm struggling at the netting on the edge there. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. Got a nine the first time. Okay. And an 18 on the second attempt. Okay. Now you can climb. You get your like one quarter movement, so it's like a five foot climb. All right. Okay. So with the waves and not much up to the dock, I'm going to say that you're literally clinging to the top edge. You're not up and over, but you are at the top. Okay. Okay. You see to your left, you know, uh, we got 10, 20, 30. There's a lot of debris and like there's enough crates and stuff. You may not have line of sight of the murder and murderess that's going on, you know, down there. So yeah, no, nothing think... like having the person you save show up and just see you in time to like coup de gras somebody right? and then come and go yeah. covered in blood. I'm here to help you get away. Okay. So you're at the top. Uh, you failed one and then you made the other. So you're on the edge yep. there. And we are back to the fox. What do you wish to do? Yeah, so I'm just going to coup de gras him. Coup de gras. Okay. I don't need them. I don't need him telling them everything that just happened. That's and fine. that I can turn into a fox and whatnot. Okay. Now, I haven't asked your alignments, but I'm assuming that perhaps this, uh, your social, unless you're like having evil parties with Dark Horse or something, and uh, Mr. Singalong's blog, that your foxglove side is the darker side of your two alignments. She is chaotic neutral. She's chaotic neutral. Ah, okay. So on a whim, hmm, can't you know circumstances left to the coup de gras. Oh, can't have this guy talking. Can't have this guy. Okay. Not plus for thirsty, just a bit of an opportunist. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Just like that, is it? Okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. And here I was already to stabilize. I mean, had twenty in hand. I mean, there was a lovely number. 
you know, stabilizing with a one. Yeah, I guess he was doomed. All right. No, I can stabilize Eve around. You know, and then all of a sudden, get, 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 get. okay, he's done. Arif. Catch a bottle. Make, making the climb. Yep. Continuing on up. Uh, 17. Woohoo! Okay, pops over the top. Boink. Jumps and, up nimbly. Yep, and you have a move action oh. left, or a standard action. Yeah. Hello? Hello? It's dark. <laughs> and he'll start to uh, move towards the light. Yeah, okay. Uh, five, ten. I'm going to give you a, yeah. Can I have a dex or acrobatics check as you're moving along in the dark? Like, the light is ahead of you. There's a lot of crap on this dock. All right. You can move half carefully, dropping the DC really low, or you can just move normally and give me a DC acrobatic of 10. I'll just move normally. Oh, okay. I, he'd move cautiously. I mean, he's... Okay. So give yourself 15 feet, which is about here. Okay. All right. He makes it up to there, kind of cautiously looking around. Okay. You see crates, but now that you're standing, you see over them. So you see behind crates, you see a woman stand up. You see her from like, you know, the chest up, head and shoulders. Oh, yeah. so, hello there. And then up goes the big hook. <laughs> covered in okay. blood with the prosthetic arm and looks I your way. I would not do that. Well, you went in and then it's got to come out. No, I'm just kidding. Go no, ahead. No, I killed him on the ground, so obviously I can just pull my scissor off and put it away. Okay. Well, uh, we should probably run. Yeah. There's more than one, I think. Oh, yeah, you can see them down there. They're coming. They're organized. There is more than one, but the one that was the problem I took care of. Unless you guys have this conversation while moving your minis, I'm literally going to have that light sort of like the dock. All that action was only a mere 10, 20, 30, 40, feel like 60 feet away, guys. Like, I know a shortcut. Come this way. It all, yeah. Hurry. Yeah, it, 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 I'll follow. Yeah. Okay. So to save some time and a split encounter, stealing into the darkness, you this woman takes you by the wrist and she drags you along a couple of quick shortcuts just to get you far enough away that they have to like get to the end of the dock. Oh no, they find a body. You know, they alert people, they call out, you know, Meta, all this type of thing, but it slows them down. They start, but they'll organize a big search party and like, you know, even they'll tell the, the watch, like the other sailors, there are other boats and stuff. Like obviously the smugglers and these bad guys are like, oh no, this is terrible. Close hatches, clean up the mess. Yes, he was one of ours, you know, but any nasty evidence or whatever, unless they have a warrant or some dock legality to like search the boat where'd you get all that gold in the townhouse downtown on the east side you know then all is well for the moment for them slipping into the night what do you two want to do a few moments later hard pressed <gasps> pull him back to my place and find out what's going on you want to cross town you're at you are at the wharf and you are a good 10 minutes away from the scene of the crime which is the townhouse you want to head back to base with this guy and get the whole story? Why were you in that bag? I mean, that, that's the best story told on the, on the move. Yes. Um, you know, as we kind of make our way, you know, away from the dock area, so we're not going to be, you know, immediately bagged or killed. Um, well, I, I believe I was captured because I can uh, translate documents and things. Yes. Uh, they, they took me down somewhere and had me read a, a rather peculiar document, if, if I don't mind saying, um, uh, from Elven to, 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 to other ancient, uh, difficult to describe uh, decipher languages. Yes. If you don't have the broad lexicon, some of the things lose uh, a, a bit of their meaning in translation, which was what made it quite con uh, confusing. So they took you because they couldn't read documents. Well, anybody can read the document. It, it, it takes someone knowledgeable to understand what the words mean. My, my, my dear, <laughs> uh, it pats her on the shoulder as we kind of move. Uh, understanding is the key. So you have to speak. And he'll start to rattle off these languages. Um, it's Cretan and, and, and Elvin, and then it was translated back into a uh, Devrisian. I mean, it's it's quite a complicated thing. Who is this man? <laughs> Actually, who is this guy? Oh, I'm I'm just a librarian, really. Nothing, nothing fancy. I just 
you know, you learn a thing or two you're working in the library. Do you actually hours. work at the library, the like what stands for the archives here in Absalon, or are you like a scholar? What like? Well, he's he actually has a rank in librarian, so he would be like one of the junior librarians at at one of the bigger libraries. Yeah, because you know, he can. I think I speak seven languages. Okay. So are they going to be after you still? Do I need to take you somewhere? I mean... Well, well I've done the bulk of the free. translation. What would you like from now on? Bed, home, nap, law enforcement. I mean, I don't know. I've never been kidnapped well, if, before. If you're going to the guards, I'm going to... Um, it was all rather exciting. Go. You could leave them on the front steps all cop, you know, wrapped up in cobwebs with a note. <laughs> uh, we, we could start by maybe cutting my wrists free. I mean, it was quite difficult swimming and climbing and such. I'd take my dagger and cut his hand. Are, are you convinced that he's harmless? He's not about to, he's not like a walking necromancer or a bomb or something that, you know. <laughs> he's an old man. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, if he kills me, he kills me, but he's an old man. I, I doubt he's going to kill me. Yeah. All right. So what's our goal at this point? Where are we headed off to? You say you, you mentioned home and law enforcement and it's dark. Do you want to ask her to guide you to the nearest cop shop and she'll like drop in the corner and bail or, you know, I'm yeah, assuming well, after the nightmares uh, ordeal, like you said, you're not really itching to get back to the townhouse. We're trying to keep you. It's been a great cameo, Frank. Thank you. Um, yes. But this character is destined for other things, as we've implied. And at this point, with you just being a scholar, they've got mixed up with the bad guys in the society once. You're claiming you've had enough? Yeah, for, for now, yes. I mean, this, this is too much excitement this late at night. I, okay. I've got to go. And would you ask this mysterious woman to take you somewhere? Or are you just like, thank you, bye. I'll make my way in the well, dark well, no, nights I mean, of... <laughs> yeah. Uh, would clearly... he know? Her social persona. Would he know her? She, because she's a well-known expert. Would he know her? I'm sure she's been to the library loads of times. Uh, I think you'd have to lead in with something in conversation. Um, like, are you saying just like out of nowhere to be like, oh, by the way, I'm friends with Bruce Wayne. He's a responsible guy, and not me. And I'll take you to him. Like, or, well, you know, if you, if you need someone to help take you to the cops, I have a friend who can help you out. Oh, okay. Oh, well, well, let's let, let's head back to the libraries first and see uh, exactly what was taken. Yes, let, let's start there. It, it makes sense, right? Gather the facts, that kind of thing. Uh, Ashley, it doesn't seem Miss Glove Fox, may I call you Fox? Um, doesn't seem he realized where he was. I mean, they did bag him and tag him. He's talking about an archive or a library where he was taken to, translated, and then they bagged and tagged him. I don't believe he's realized that he was in the, you know, in a townhouse, unless they started an archive, took him to some place. The that's... library is all the way across town. Yeah, why would they? Have I didn't him... find you there. No. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, really, I was uh, one minute I was ooh, working, translating, and things like that. And the next thing I know, bag on the head, traveling a while, thrown in a boat, drugged down a flight of stairs. Manhandled rather unprofessionally, I, I do mind. I mean, I, my best work is not done under stress by any stretch of the imagination. And, 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 and I don't know what was going to happen from here. I mean, who, who knows how long I'd, I'd been there? The, the how, sun how was up. How about I take you to a friend that can help you with the authorities and you guys can go from there? That sounds wonderful. Good, good thinking. Good thinking, young lady. All Let's right. Go. So advancing the scene, the scene pulls out and two small figures become dark silhouettes in the night alleys. You are in, as you can see in the map behind me here, you're in the East District. Where is this friend? Or do you find a way to summon said friend? You know, like, where do you take him? I would take him um, back to my house, disappear inside for a second and have him wait on the stoop and reappear as my social persona. Your actual home where the social persona lives? Yes. Okay. So not the bat cave, as it were. No. You don't get a bat cave at first level, do you? You gotta kinda work your way up no. to it. No, no. Not yet. No, uh, you know. I picture like a horse and a carriage, it's all done up like the Batmobile, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> like some war carriage. <laughs> they keep shooting my horses and then the Batmobile's got no gas, but what can you do? Alright. So sure. You drag this guy. Now this, again, this is gonna take time. 
So I would like to commend my players because they do realize they are doing the right thing in character and literally walking themselves out of the adventure. So we'll have to, I suppose, we'll have to conjure up a little someone else for you to keep you amused. Across town, a little while later, Arif, the woman brings you to another apartment-type dwelling, um, leaves you on the front step, brings you inside the sort of foyer so you're safe, and does the ring bell or, you know, uh, gives, gives you a name to drop, and the people that come to the door recognize this name, and they go to summon... They go to the, you know, they say, hang on a moment more. They go up to whoever's apartment and try and get them. Unbeknownst to you, but known to the audience, obviously this gives Ashley the right amount of time to like leave you in a few moments to go in the back window, slip in, and then change and act all surprised when a neighbor knocks on her door. Oh, yes, I, yes, yeah, come down. What's going on? And, and, you know, in case you're wondering about that time transparency, that works rather nicely. So the scene moves back in with a neighbor handing off someone else to Master Arif, who in the middle of the night, you know, us booming is acting all surprised or whatever. Ashley, could you describe the socialite version of your dual nature of this very interesting character class? Her name is Alexi Bordana. She is a well-known expert in many areas throughout the town. So she, uh, if somebody has a problem um, and they can't quite figure it out for themselves, instead of paying an expert to come in, they just kind of ask her. Now expert as in like, there's the expert NPC class. Um, there is being known as sort of an authority on a subject. Have you dumped, like, is this sort of like a false thing, like evidence, like, you know what I mean? Is, is this, are you acting into this or have you burnt like a whole bunch of ranks going, ah, one rank in this, I know about this, one rank in this, I know about that, like. No, she doesn't actually have um, many of the skills. It comes from um, one of her vigilante skills, yeah, which like, allows her to, it's, it's the same thing she used to become a sailor. Yeah, yeah, I, I got you. Like so it's it's she a just talks them through the, it. And they the, but the character the class has themselves. yeah, the character class has a dice mechanic to prop this up to make it feasible. So you, without a lot of scrutiny, you know, the persona holds up. No, I get it. I just was curious how that was built. Uh, okay, so um, an authority on a couple of things. Now seeing her face to face, I believe there is a DC or there is a, like a fame check, as it were, to know if we've heard of you. The lower level, the less famous one is, the much harder it is, you know. I mean, they have their iconic, uh, I forget his name, but he's kind of like Raven Man when he's the, the vigilante. And if this guy's running around at 12th level, then it's not a hard stretch to know that Raven protects the city, as it were, for most people. You're new on the scene, you're low level, and you've just started planting the seed for Foxglove, let alone the year the couple months you've put in for the expert so i'll give him a roll but you know it is rather unlikely but we should address that um now with the vigilante is there something specific we need to roll is it just a fame check i believe it would just be a fame check because she okay. i mean she does have the local renown um well, vigilante thing but it it's tied in with the expert so what kind of role would that be like good knowledge. Good local? question. Knowledge local? <laughs> knowledge local, yeah. Okay. Uh, 14. Okay. Because uh, like I said, at her obscurity, I'd be looking for like 18 to 25, you know, that kind of thing. So um, she comes down, she introduces herself. Uh, it's not like she says, oh, and by the way, I'm this, this, and this. She just gives her name and, you know, um, I understand you're a friend or like someone I associate with, you know, that kind of thing. How do you play this off, uh, Alexi? A neighbor came to you. Now you have to play dumb. Obviously, you know that you brought you here. But like a neighbor comes to you and says, you know, there's an old man on the step. He mentioned you, and you know, he seems out of sorts. He's soaking wet. You know, so we got you up. So to you make, know, I'd have, have a night and you know, a, a robe on. Yeah, yeah. Wrapped around and come downstairs. My my gods, you're soaking wet. Are, are you all right? I I I apologize for, for, for my conditions. Uh. Uh, it, it appears I've been dropped on your stoop like a like a bag of potatoes. Um, I, I don't quite understand where I am in this city. I mean, but uh, yes, uh, I was I was taken from the uh, the, the the libraries. Um, what what library would be nearby or that's big enough to warrant people like that? 
Oh, like, you know, the archives itself? Yeah. I mean, would he just say I'm from the archives? Yeah, we can keep it... Um, generic? Generic. Okay. Yeah, no, no sense in cornering the DM and realizing how little I know about the biggest city in Pathfinder. Okay. To my shame. Um, Alright, right, so he'll just kind of continue on. Uh, I, 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 yes, uh, yeah, in the, in the archives. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit confused. I mean, it's been a long night. Uh, Who is it that sent you to me? Uh, uh, I have not met her. I don't, I don't believe. What does she look like? Uh, she's a, a, a medium height. It was kind of tall, a little short, long hair, shortish, brownish, blondish. Yes. <laughs> the scene begins to pull out as a very long like uh, this this alexi you know slash vigilante is giving the guy every chance right in front of the neighbor neighbor's still standing there being very nosy giving this guy every chance to like cover and he's just you know round and round in circles and we would assume that she'd say would you go would you have gone to the watch why come to me you know that kind of thing and we'll assume that he's looked after or she gets him boat passage in the hell out of her town <laughs> because this guy's nothing but trouble but going back to the scene going back to where the next piece of action where we left off we were entering i believe we we're entering round three possibly round four let's as this scene draws back over absalon into the dark night sky and then coming back down into the east district not too far from where we were a townhouse a fight ensues and plunging right through the roof an overtop view of a narrow hallway a druid outside the door 10 feet five feet in a summoner and his diva edelon dina the edelon i want to say barbie doll but sorry uh bad guys crammed in the hallway and roxy making her move to the other side is where we left off and i believe now i believe now we were just turning round three which means it's time for the bad guys i do not have uncanny dodge i cannot react to people either side of me and hope maintain my dexterity armor class and be flat-footed however a cat has not hit me and the girl just plunged this bloody great weapon into my chest so i believe my first action is to get unflat footed i will take a five foot step into the next room and i will continue to attack dina and call for my friend to aid in this fight for free now dina your armor class is about to go up by two because I'm attacking through a doorway and gives you cover. So what is Dina's new armor class? Because here it comes. 18. 17. Oh, sorry. Terribly, terribly, terribly sorry. Five points of damage. Stabby, stabby to you, sir. Nothing personal. I mean, we are, we are guarding this place and you're the home invaders here. I just realized that is an awful lot of map you guys can see that you're not supposed to. All the money I put in lighting effects and it's all rendered useless, useless in one click of the button. Can't have that. Oop. There we go. Much better. Now, let's get back to what I believe I was supposed to be doing. There we go. A little better. I think so. Five points of damage, Dina. You okay? Yep. All right. Take it off your character. You're good? Yeah, I did. All right. Uh, Cougar looks nasty. Um, Dina. Hmm. I would have to say there's a 50 50 if I'm going to go for the cat first. Yep, definitely going to go for that cat. It just makes logical sense to, you know, split up. So, with Roxy finally getting involved, 13. What is Roxy's armor class? Anyone? We've got two people controlling the cat. 17. Thank you. <laughs> 
Sorry, I had to find it. No, I just always waiting for you guys to start gesturing, going, no, no, you go. No, 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 you go. <laughs> that is a miss. And we are done. Bringing us down to Kyler. You are up. Kata, get ready. Decide you are on deck. Now, Kyler. Yes. All mental actions are mental and they are free, right? Yes. Okay. So what do you want to do first? Director, start off with the each order round because she goes after you. Mage armor. Okay. On Nina. Oh, very nice. Now, isn't that a personal spell or is it a touch spell? It's a touch spell. Okay. Just making sure. It's not one of those no, all personnel. Yeah, I can double check myself. Target um, zero. You know. Sure. Yeah, touch. Range. Okay. And that gives a plus four armor bonus. Yep. What is her armor? Because armor bonuses don't stack with armor. Now, if it's more, it supersedes. If she's wearing stud leather, getting a three, and you don't. Have, she can't wear armor. She, can't she only has wear. natural armor. Ah, okay. Now, I believe natural armor does stack, though, with armor armor. I'm not. Yep. Okay. So, what is her AC now? 21? 19. 19. Yep. Cool. All right. Digging in for the fight. That is a standard action. You cast your spell. What else have you got? Movement. Mental commands. Uh, yeah, she's going to go after the one no, that... No, 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 not her. It's not her turn. I want you to tell her what she's going to do That's on her I... turn. Because if you don't do it now, she's That's just going to repeat saying. the last, you know... She's going to attack the last person she attacked. Okay. Before. So the Get same... Room. Yes. Yep. I know it's real. She is smart, and this isn't sort of a mice and men scenario where you're like, you know, they'll just take a beating until you say get them, and they'll follow up. And like, they can act independently, and they are smart enough to like a, a j change to tactics. But I do want to kind of keep that interesting premise of, you know, keeping the link up and Xavier directing, doing the overwatch. Okay. Anything else, sir? Are we done? Nope. That is my full. Okay. Turn. Kata, you're up. Roxy, you're on deck. Kata, what do you want to do? I'm going to stay where I am again. It's too narrow for me to get in there. And I know that I couldn't dance past any of the bad guys. However, I am going to yell down the hallway to Roxy that it, you know, attack. Um, she'll naturally attack the last person who attacked her. So I will give you a handle. On it. Okay. I can't see what my dice did because it's not the big. <laughs> uh, ten, a uh, six plus four, I guess, because I'm handling Roxy. Ten. Okay, no, we, we, I kind of buggered a couple of things. We did look it up off air about you, like, handle animal. For a druid, it's a free check, but there is a check. There is that DC of 10 to hit any uh, trick that you've taught her. But druids get a plus four because of their special link and all that cool stuff. So the check goes up for free. You beat 10 saying, hey, continue attack. I'm assuming DCs on harder tricks and feats like Cinder Brave are probably uh, much harder to do, but we'll get into that as those situations arise so handle animal of six now did you get the plus four when using roxy which comes up to 10 yes okay like that's not built into my role that's just a right but plus. it says no it's plus four when using roxy so that's good to see for us okay great which hits the 10 any other cat would say what this one says right righto okay i'm gonna hold my position here all right and that's it yep roxy you have your orders. Quietly, the cat bites. What'd you get? Uh, 22 to hit for three damage. Ouch. And which one are you biting? Uh, whichever one had attacked at me. Uh, the, the tattooed bald looking guy in the left or your right as it that were. That is the one that has been nipped. Been nipped in the bud. All right. Hey, look at me with my hit points finally online and and the DM quickly double checking what they happen to be because I know these guys as a certain mercenary company have a well, they're not uh, they're not red shirts. Let's put I mean, technically they are red shirts, but they're not uh, we're not just going to fall over. That's for sure. Okay. So, ouch. You got anything else? Can you do bites and claws in succession? I am looking it up. I'm not sure. There's bite, and then there's doing the claw claw. It's one or the other, unless you have the feet multi-tack, and then you get to do both. 
I believe yeah. how it goes. Uh, well, multi attack is uh, the creature's secondary attacks with natural weapons only take a negative two penalty, uh, whereas normally they're at a negative five. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know if the claws would be treated as secondary due to, um, because yeah. normally claws are primary. So yeah, they're t- talking about the rake ability, the back feet coming up as it would be your secondary attack. I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's just leave it at just the bite for now, and I'll keep looking. All right. Dina, you have your orders. A constant headache of him in your mind, which are your orders, but moving up, moving on. Yep. Stabby, stabby to the guy with the um, Mm -hmm. tattoos, I believe. Now, I think it would be interesting. Um, Does Dina speak? No, I did look that up. She does not speak at this level. Since we have... um, Now, I'm sure you guys are very capable. But since we have Aiden looking after the cat, I'm going to call upon Ashley Pasquello to take woman in hand and get in there and do our roles for... So you have a little bit more interaction as like a two-person thing instead of just you with you. you. Because you doing you with you, you is going to get kind of creepy for me. So, Ashley, would you mind stepping up? And we'll give you control of Dina. And you can Absolutely. handle, you can handle her dice rolls, and you know, get in there for us. And uh, this makes a little bit more sense than dropping somebody else out of the sky for you at the moment. But you never know; cameos abound in our here, here in uh, Rollmonger Land. You know what I'm saying? So while I pull that up and, and transfer, uh, Jared. Yep. Can you uh, explain what you want? Dina to do, and we'll get Ashley to do the raw rolls until I can get this set up for her. Well, she's only got one weapon, which is the Naginata. So she's going to a uh, pokety poke since it's a pole arm into said reach weapon, not a pole arm, reach weapon. I'm going to pokety poke. The yes. Am I just rolling a d20? It's a yeah. It's a... There you go. You should have access, access to the sheet now as well. Okay, well, the raw roll is 12. Plus 4. So 16. 16. Close, but not good enough, especially with that cover. Okay. Bringing us to round 4. Frank. Yes? You did some great role play with me as these two guys, you know, being card players. Okay. I'd like you to take control of the gentleman on the right. He has a short sword. Tax a plus three. Go nuts. They don't like people, you know, they're guarding the door while their guys are in the basement. Have some fun. Get into it. Feel free to, you know. I mean, my guy's like, you know, the card game still stands. I was winning. Poke, poke. Hmm. I need, I, need All right. a, I need a d20 at plus three and a d6 at plus three for damaging if you pull that off. And this guy yep. was mixing it up with Dina. All right. So he, uh, he's got his weapon out, takes a swipe at the uh, cat that's right there because it looks like the more dangerous of the two. Um, doesn't look like he's been damaged yet, so he doesn't feel really threatened yet. Oh, he's been damaged. She stuck her thing in him. Oh, okay. D- Dina's been all up in you. Oh, he just says, ah! Oh. How about you, you stupid cat? Uh, takes a swipe, gets an eight armor class. What so I assume that misses. Okay. It does. Um, seeing my partner, who was attacked by Dina, and returning tax to Dina, switching to what I was attacking the cat, I follow seat, suit and switch to Dina. So, mercenary, on the left. Follow suit with a nine. We're awesome. <laughs> Kyler, you're up. Kata, you're on deck. We are in round four and enjoying ourselves immensely. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to direct Nina. I told you to hit him, not caress him. Hit him with your spear. And then I'm... 
guess I'm going to. But doesn't stab. that mean like, don't you stab with a spear? Isn't she just gonna lift it up and like bring it down on his head, like whacking? Yeah. She... <laughs> piercing, slashing. Weapon? It is our first day. Yeah. Anyway. I believe it is a piercing. It's a piercing. Weapon. Yeah. Hit implies bludgeon. I'm just being. I'm just messing with you. Okay. Okay. You're the intern. I'm, I'm allowed to be there. Anyway. All right. So, yes. What do you then, What do you want to do? What I'm going to do is. I'm going to cast Guidance. Okay. So that her next action gets the plus one? Yes. Awesome. On her. I'm assuming it's on her. Yeah. On a single attack roll, saving throw, or skill check. Very nice. So I'm going to direct her to use it on a attack roll. Okay. And uh, And that... I'm actually then, after casting that, I'm going to back out of the room so hopefully someone else might be able to get in there okay so five ten out the door and move to the yep. side okay yep don't forget to spam your q button so we can see your path oh okay and well next time and kata yeah. you're up all right so i am also going to cast guidance it's funny both neutral characters doing the same thing uh um, is that a touch spell or mm, good question because i know he was there just kind of you know Healing from behind. Let's see. As, I uh, at it. Closed it. As the attack of opportunity one shot had Frank all uh, following the pallet around, grabbing cheek and praying to. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying. Sorry, I'm waiting for it to roll up. Yeah, suffering a little bit. Yeah, touch. All right, so forget that because I don't feel like getting in there just yet. Okay. Well, so what do you want to do? Let's see. Can I get in there? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get in there. Even you said Q. Yeah, I believe you tap your Q as you drag your mini, and it'll show us the path. This is really good for us, like, you know, did you step on the trap? Did you not step on the trap? Because if you just grab your mini and drop them, they just kind of, like, float through the air like a ghost in Corporeal and go right through walls and stuff. And There's going to be arguments about that later. Can I can't share the same space with Dina, can I? No, you can go through, but you got to end up in an empty square. Oh, then I'm going to end up. Why did I do that? Can't say I like how this like stays everywhere. But... Okay, right. so you move it in there. I'm gonna get behind her. Um, Roxy knows her her plan, and I'm just gonna be ready. Okay. Do you want to redirect Roxy? She's you're happy with whom she's attacking. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm tempted to get her to go behind him, but I think that's too many orders for her. Just keep attacking, Roxy. Okay. Roxy, you have your orders. All right, uh, I'm going to bite the same guy. Uh, 22 to hit for 5 damage. And my bite also allows me to make a trip attack. Okay. Careful testing uh, rolls, guys. You're filling the screen with dice that don't count. And this should be actually one higher. 12. Okay, so you're going to bite and you're going to what? Trip. Do you get a free trip like a wolf? Yes. Because cougar, because he's meow 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 to meow meow. It's a, it's a small cat. Yeah, but they don't automate. Like I said, wolf gets a free trip attempt as part of being a wolf. For yeah. you to do well, a combat it says maneuver, attack, bite one d four plus trip. I'm reading the stat. Oh, block. oh okay, no, that's fine. Yeah. Then, yeah, then it is implied in the okay. Okay, so you do five points of damage. And who are you grabbing? Uh, I'm in the same dude that I bit. Uh, the it's the Bald tattooed. Guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll take five off of him. He's not very happy, and you need to beat his CMD with a twelve, which unfortunately, uh, just have a quick peek here. Boom, 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 boom. No, close, but no. Sorry. So I don't, I don't get the the leg. You don't get the leg yank in there. But, but I'm hurting. I am not liking this job at all. 
It was sit play cards with the money that I earned. Good girl, I Roxy. Good girl. <laughs> and Dina, I believe, was told to continue to smack this guy here. So, Ashley P., if you please. Do you have access to the sheet? Or raw roll? Yeah, I have access. Give me just a second. Yep. So I'm just going to stab with the spear again? You can do what you like, but Master told you. That's what he wants. It's always about him, what he wants. Master didn't tell me. Brother told me. Brother told Oh, that's right. Because we're at that level of creepy. I forgot. We're going full metal alchemist, aren't we? That's a seven to hit. Do you have Dina convinced that she actually is just sort of what's left of your sister, you sick bastard? Because I love it. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> it's just, you're, who are you? You're my sister, because I can't let go. That's, I mean, that's, technically one of the old school um, that's good. summoner archetypes, if I was just doing a regular summoner, is like soul bonded or soul trapped or something like that. Oh. Yeah, we should have went for that one. He misses unchained. with a seven. Okay. Ah, no good. We're trying. Now, you guys are a distinct disadvantage, but our armor classes are pretty stiff, and they're going much higher because you guys are attacking through doorways. Of course, none of us are willing to give up these positions either, and we're suffering the same against you, but entering in round five. Five rounds. Bad guys. I'm going to pick up a D10. I believe that most people are wondering, because of a couple of emails I got, why the heck companions don't count as players? Why am I running a Pathfinder Society adventure with just four, not six, and two of them got written out? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. The cavalry shows up in five rounds, which means that's now. So coming on the scene and rolling for initiative to place yourself in the order, I am going to bring upon a certain dwarf we know. If you listen to Dice Before Dishonor, we really hope you listen to Echoes of Honor, where the backup cast, one, was a sovereign court from Taldor faction member, a surly dwarf who thinks he's good with children, but really isn't. And uh, I believe after visiting the office, showing up late, was given quick direction and spent this time. Now, remember, these guys took a meal on the street. It's not so implausible if somebody happened, if we retcon them showing up late, quick chat with the guy and coming down and getting here now, as opposed to characters like Old Man Air from them that were in the scene square one and drawn away. So coming down the street, checking the address and seeing people popping in and out of a doorway and they're they're backing out and looking in like there's a fire or side inside or something monsieur dwarf would you please introduce yourself uh yeah uh so let's see i'll be playing rohan an unusually tall dwarf so he goes by the moniker of half man uh your your typical kind of dwarven fighterish kind of guy wears heavy armor buckler shield he's got a long hammer that kind of sticks up over the top of one of his shoulders with a uh, dwarven axe strapped to his hip. I tried to make him very kind of I iconic dwarf. He's got some tattoos down one side. You mentioned iconic before, so I actually dug up my iconic, well, the iconic mini, either a dwarven ranger with a crossbow, but it suits, it suits. So kind of initiative roll and we will plant you in. All right, got a four. Okay, well, that plants you in the bottom, but hey. Use, using me lightning dwarven reflexes so I can survey the battlefield. Well, it's fine. One, some would argue that I shouldn't even, you know, really be doing this at all. So getting back to where we were at round five at the top, coming up the street, okay, and placing you here when we get to four, surveying the view, you may go. Good luck introducing yourself to someone like Kyler, like, during combat, but... The bad guys. I shall take full control now. Thank you for your services, Frank. And we're going to speed this along. An 18 with a short sword is close to a crit, having a range of 1920, but not good enough. And my fellow man with a nine. 
So a 21 and a 12. And the first one, guy on the right, Ferdina. The 21. So your armor class of 19, even through the doorway. Now, did you count the doorway in that 19? Jared? Bueller? No, I did not. Okay, so count. what is her base AC, like up and going, not flat-footed, good to go? Uh, not flat-footed, good to go, is... Right now is 19. No, I mean, what? Armor. starting over. It's 10. You're an echelon. You have natural armor. gives you what? 15. And that's with dexterity and everything, right? Yes. We boosted you. We buffed you with mage armor. You're at 19. So technically 19. your AC is 21 because of this door frame, which I right. just barely hit. So damaging you with... Oh, you're so lucky. One plus three is four. Four points on Dina, please. Now, I don't know if you have this set up, so I'll help you out here. Yeah, I got it. Okay, thank you. Dwindling the arrow armor points away, away. And the other guy threw the doorway against the cat with a 12. I don't think this is going to get through to Kitty Cat Cat. So I'm going to say no. Kyler, you are up. Kata, you are on deck. What do you want to do? Kyler. Okay. Um, Do I recall if the window was broken or it's if barred. it was open? It's barred. Just barred. Yeah. Okay. Um, they had it open from the inside for the night air, but there's uh, bars, since you could hear right through the window and see. But there are bars in the so window. So theoretically, I could shoot through it. Sure, could I? Depending on what the weapon is, crossbow. Oh yeah, definitely, because that's something that you could sort of like, you know, stick the tip through, and as long as you can turn the angle. Yep, I'll let okay, you do that. So let's see here. This. Now, I am also going to say, though, that because you're restricted with the bars and the guy's moving, you got to wait for the moment or whatever, I'm still going to give him that sort of plus to his AC as if you were shooting through a doorway. You know what I mean? Yeah. But good call. I'm liking it. And uh, I'm going to attempt to shoot him in the back with the crossbow. Well, as close to the back as I can. Okay. As soon as I this because now i'm watching your guy advance horribly slowly and he crosses through the corner of the building see that 15 to 20 yeah so that technically means 30 feet you land in the 25 square right here mm -hmm. and you must use a move action to pull your bow okay because you were casting spells you never had never pulled it out right exactly so, so um or you can place yourself right where you want to be as a second move action and pull the bow and then load it. Crossbows are, yeah, fun. <laughs> if I was going into this thinking that there was going to be trouble, wouldn't it have already been loaded? I'd asked you guys several times about walking around with a loaded crossbow. No, you don't walk around with a loaded bow. It's a free okay. action to pull the thing, but crossbows specifically have a mechanic about being loaded and then you get into rap okay. shot stuff. No, so. just clarifying. Hair trigger, so. Not gonna, especially at this low level. You know, this is the type of phantom, fantasy awesome at 10th level going, I'm a rock. First level, it's all like, ah, burn actions. Oh, so absolutely. in the end, so you want to be in spot or do you want to? I am going to, I'll move to here then. Right. Now you have so a move action it. left. You pull your bow. So then I pull the bow. Right. Next turn, Next you can step. move up as a move as action a and load it and then shoot. Right. Um, and I will... Now, one could argue, since you can draw from the top left corner of your square through that window... Right. That you could just load and shoot. But since you're not adjacent to the window... Right. You know, your uh, firing through the window, as it were, is going to be a little bit more difficult. It's going to give me a little bit of a bonus. Okay, so why do I'll these? Why does these? We got random rolls constantly popping up here, guys. I don't know what's going on with that. Completely unintentional. Characters that are not on site. You're confusing me. You're confusing the fans. Stop it. So, would you say it's a minus two, minus four on attack roll if I want to go ahead and shoot? Uh, it's not solid. It is see-through, and the bars are are spaced. So I'll be nice and say that it's um, see an archway, an archway that's completely open, gives two. 
So a barred window that's smaller with bars, I'm going to say that's probably four, yeah. Okay. So you're best to like, you know, do you want to take a penalty or do you want to just take time? Well, I think we've, I'm going to at least attempt it. Yeah. This is all I can really do okay. right now. So right now you've moved up, you've drawn your crossbow and you're right. good. Kada, you're up. Roxy, you're on deck. Kada. Uh, so I, I'm still looking at the, the scene in front of me and yep. with Dina right there, I'm not going to move in front of her because I'm going to have them both on each side. So I'm going to stay where I am and direct Roxy to attack again. Okay. Hope for the best. Roxy! More biting, right. more tripping? Uh, what, you, what else you yep. got there? Your bag is uh Is the uh, bald man still up? Uh, the I, I, I'm bleeding it. profusely. I don't look great, but all right. That's Ooh. a red eight. That tells me yeah, that's, that's a that's a natural one. Critical miss. Do I have a name? No, I'm not hitting. I'm not criticaling. You have a name. That's a critical fail. I have this deck of cards here that I haven't used in so long. It's been right. so long. Well, I have to roll again to confirm the critical yes, fail. Yes, I know, but I, I just, I'm, my hand is on the deck is what I'm saying. All right, 19, which I assume hits his AC. It actually just barely does. So I'm going to put my card. I'm sorry, critical deck. I have to wait longer. All right. Nice, nicely done, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I was so ready to yank that card. <laughs> as, a, as a full round attack, I do get the claws, right? Yeah, what happens on a crit? Do you break a nail? I mean, quite literally. Well, it, for those, it's a <laughs> tooth. But, uh, okay. No, they ha they have natural weapons. I'm just... Sorry. Go on. Yeah. Right. No, I'm, I was just... I was trying to read up on the rules whether to see if I got the claws or not. I thought I did, but I wasn't sure. All right. Uh, 23 to hit and 25 to hit? Yeah. Uh, all right. Three and two damage, respectively. Somebody has upset this kitty cat. Sorry, damage is three and two? Yep. So total five. Okay. I'm not feeling so good, but I'm still here. Dina. More stabbing. Ashley. Did you use the um, guidance last turn? I think she rolled horribly. It was like a seven, so that wouldn't have done. Okay. We were talking about a bunch of stuff, and she just didn't go. Yeah, it was a seven from me. So it was only a seven last yeah. time. So go ahead and use make, use guidance on your attack this time. So it's just a plus one, but still might help. You said she would. So that is a twelve. So I'm hit. taking that eight as a nine. You said on her next attack, she attacked. The spell went off. So it would have been an eight last time. The last caster time. chooses not the recipient. Recipient, true. Once it's I think guidance the... is just on your next roll. Yeah, well, I'm I, I'm not going to let Jared bamboozle me going. Well, because we were arguing and she didn't say the plus one. It wasn't technically used by the th like I see where you're going with this. And normally, yeah, there'd be a lot of calls when going no problem retcon. But in this instance, I think it was burnt, dude. So, eleven. Yes, is that what I'm looking at here. Yes. Through the doorway, unfortunately. No, he is really bobbing and weaving and weaving with his partner, Bob. Hi, I'm Bob. But to ill effect. Roman. Rohan? Rohan. Rohan. <clears throat> Rohan, coming along the scene, you see the building. It is red brick. You're pretty sure this is a dress. You're hearing scuffles inside. You're close enough. And there's a strange looking guy outside who backs out, looks around, and then goes running off around the corner. I, I know that sound. That's a party. I'll kind of tuck this note that was kind of directing me here back in there. Okay. Draw my axe. Move up. Okay. Now you have a plus one base attack? I do. All right. Um, we have a scuffle at 10, 20, 30, 40 feet. Minus four. So free by me. 15 plus. Okay, you're fine. Because I've been burning move actions for, for perception, but the fact that you are not just walking down the street going, it's a Sunday, it's a Thursday, where's my ice cream? No. You're here for a reason. That's Agent, right. Agents on scene. You know, you're like the bonus SWAT guy. Moving down the road. Did okay. you happen to see this beautiful dwarf? Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> the most beautiful dwarf in the world. Everybody, round six. Bad guys, if you're done, sir. 
a move and a lark. You good? Yep, that's right. it. Okay. And, and then he calls out, "Hey, what's going on? Is this a private party? <laughs> what's all this then? Oh crap! It's the watch. Everyone just drops their weapons and runs. A natural one and a twelve to confirm a possible uh, fail. Crit, fail, 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 crit. Mister Kitty Cat, I think I confirmed a crit fail. Fail crit. AC seventeen. Yeah, that's not good for me. But I'm called Devil's Claw Mercenary 1 and 2. I don't have a name. I'm not a named NPC, so I'm going to ignore my little deck as per the rules. And just unfortunately, I, he drops his sword. I drop my sword. That's right. In front of an angry kitty. The other guy. Dun, 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 dun. Having a go at Nina. Dina. I always want to call you Nina. 17, but through the doorway, your astronomical AC is much higher. Can we just take this outside where we can actually hit each other and not draw this? <laughs> Let's take this outside because we're round six. Um, Kyler, you're up. Kada, you right. are on deck. What do you want to do, Kyler? Five foot step so I can see properly mm -hmm. through this here window and shoot said bad guy in the back. With what? Crossbow. Light. That's, that's not loaded yet. You moved here, you pulled it out. Two move actions. You move right. up. You load. Well, five foot is a. What do they consider that in this? Re, not a reaction, but. You uh, you can take a five foot step as a not movement action. It's just as an part as part of a full round action. Yes. Right. Yeah. So then I can but load. Loading and moving is not a full round action. It's two different move actions, and you don't get a five <laughs> foot step on top of them. If you were doing something like a coup de gras. You could do a full round action. I go, I take my free five foot step and coup de gras. If you're doing like a double attack and I take my five foot step and unload like Drist Jordan, that's called a full round action attack. You can do that. But you can't go move action, move action, and hey, this move action wasn't movement for my feet, so technically I take a five foot step. No, you cannot. I believe. That's the way it goes. You follow me? Okay, yeah, no, then I load and prepare for my next round then. Okay. At least not at this bloody level. Kata. All right. Um, it was the the bald guy lost his his sword, right? The one who's been attacking my cat. You see hands sticking through a doorway on the left, hands sticking through the doorway on the right, and the one that was sticking towards your cat drops a sword. Yes. All right. I'm going to move and attack. And my quarter staff has been out this whole time. Yes. So you want to. Run up. Here. Oh, okay. I hit W instead of Q, sorry. That's fine. So you move straight through friendlies, which is Dina, and now you are flanked on four sides. On your left is a swordless guy, in front of you is a cat, on your right is a man with a weapon trying to attack past you to get to Dina, who is now behind you, and you do what? I'm going to attack the guy without a sword because I'm. Well, so you're going to put your back to the guy with a sword? Well, I guess I could put my back to the guy without a sword. He's okay, so how about, how about this? Why don't you try an acrobatics check to get through the bad guy? Get into one of the rooms. Let's see. Which one do I want? I mean, if you want to stand here, I'm all for okay, it. Okay, I'm going to try an acrobatics check. Okay. To go over beside now, the guy in the this, this, Just so you know where you're at, my CMD right now is 15. Okay. One might even argue 17 because I'm beyond a doorway. So you sure you want to do that? And if what it, happens if I don't do it? You stay where you are and you lose him. your attack. <laughs> uh, screw it. I'll just attack the guy with a sword then. Okay. Yes, there's always that option. All right. Yes. Attacking the guy with a sword. Okay. Whacking, with the, Thank you. Whacking with the staff. Uh, D20 plus bonuses. Sorry. I have not yet rolled an attack. Ten. No, I'm sorry. Boom. Roxy. Would Roxy like to try some acrobatics to reposition because now Master's in the way? <laughs> uh, not really, because... Now well, you're attacking... Th okay, I have a plus six to my AC. Two for the door and the shield bonus that uh, Luscious Hips here has given me. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> like I said, Master is in the way. Right, so Roxy is going to just 
turn her head and roll her eyes in disappointment at her master for getting in the way. Okay. And then acrobatics into this room on the right. The, and help the one she's attacking. Yes. Okay. Now you can move into master square for free. She's not in the way yes. that way. And then you just, okay, so give me an acrobatics check to get into position because your movement is, even if it's only 30 as opposed to 40, you can move five, 10, 15 tumbling cat. I mean, obviously it's really cool with like cats and claws, but imagine a cat cartwheeling sideways, you know? All right, I got a 16. You have to beat a CMD of 15 plus five is 20. There we go. Now here's something interesting. It says you stop in the square in front of the person, which is where your master is. So I'm assuming to be nice, you're just kind of, you know, fail shunted to where you are, as opposed to well, me. I, I think it's one of those, if the square that you get stopped in is occupied by a friendly, they can give. They can free the square? Yeah, like they, like they can either choose to give up the square or you have to give up the square. Yeah, but not till their turn. I I don't know exactly whose it is. I, so I, li I, I like that. I believe it. I, I think I remember it, but I think it I like for this moment in time, you guys are a clusterfuck of two people in a square and we go down the line until we get to one of you that can give it up. Okay. Because it all happens within a few seconds, right? Yeah. Or is it immediate? I'm not sure. I'd okay. have to look it up. So, uh, If you don't mind, I'll continue on the forefront if you help me with that in the background. Yeah, of course. Okay. Now, Dina, I don't think two people in square is a plus eight to armor as opposed to one. So, like, this will not affect Dina, really. It looks funny, but I don't think it's going to hurt Dina. So, now, though, there is at least one, if not two people in the square, upping the guy's armor class from... 17, two for the door is 19, and another four is 23 if you attack now. Did and master want, or brother want me to attack? Brother wanted you to keep stabbing, but it doesn't mean you have to stand still. You can do your own movement. Would you like to try some acrobatics and get through this guy? It's an acrobatic of 20. It's not do easy. acrobatics? Everybody has acrobatics for free. Just no matter how good you are at it. I guess I can give it a shot. Why not? I would love to have three people in this square by the time we're done. Acrobatics of 20. That's a 20. Hey, but that's your name is not Lady Luciana. Oh, you're rolling for Dina. Okay, that's I where am. I'm confused. You have the wrong name up. That's why. Would you change your name from your Cavalier to who you're playing currently? That on the main save. Sure. That, okay, that's what's got me all messed up. Is it D-I-N-A? Yeah. Dina the Edelon. Okay. She does it, shaming both the cat <laughs> and the druid. <laughs> oh, well, you guys are like the smoke cloud of fists from like Acme cartoons. Gets through. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, half of 30 for acrobatics, halving your move, puts you in position, and you can still attack from behind, and the guy is flanked. Dropping his armor class down to 14, because now I'm flat-footed. Amazing how one little roll can just take a guy's AC from 23 down to 14. That is awesome. And you get a plus two to this roll. No, I don't say roll A2. <laughs> I said you get a plus two. Oh. So that's a 13 to hit. He's like, yeah, then raises the spear high and hits the crates that are beside her. Oops. <laughs> no. Yeah. No crap. Okay. Well, this is just getting more and more interesting by the minute. Frank! Because we didn't put your name on your character yet. It says oh. Frank. <laughs> it says Frank. It says Frank in the... Oh, I know, because the minis... Sorry, I'll fix it. Um, right. What do you want to do? Well, nobody answered me when I asked if it was a private party. Uh, I guess that's true. I'll move to the door and see what's going on inside the building. All right. Yeah, hey, you see a big cat? And a tangle of people. Obviously, some stuff going on in the doorway. And I'll shout down the hallway. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing down there? Okay. You come upon a scene where you were told unfriendlies by the Pathfinder Society were on site. And you better get your butt down there. Whether they're fighting amongst themselves or these are the Pathfinders that the man, the old man said. Venture Captain. Do you remember his name? Let's see. I, I don't. 
I don't have my note in front of me. I tucked it in my pocket. Quickly spoke. Seeing retcons back to you entering, you know, the Venture Captain Drandall Dregs office. There's no one there. The attendants tell you that he's taking supper. But you don't wait. You bust in on the man's dinner. Quickly get some information. Explain who you are. Show credentials. He gives you the address. Says to say hi to Dina for him, whoever that is. And you head on your way, arriving... Well, I wouldn't say this is the nick of time, but you're here. All Nick, right, so he gets there. There's 510. You, no shout out. you see a cluster of cat and person <laughs> and elf. <laughs> you're calling out there. You're up. I'll look down the hall and say, Dina, someone told me to say hi. Hello? And prepare an attack action. If, uh, nah, he'll get, that's good. Okay. I don't really know who's who yet. Okay. With the Pathfinders in this combat, please raise your hands. Everybody stops. You, you. Well, thank you. Round seven. We have Kyler dying to take this shot. I know he's been held off. I know it seems mean, but this is just move action, move action, move action. You chose your weapon. You know, you know, you know the game. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. We have a cluster of Cat and Druid in the middle. Two guys flanking. They just look confused. Dina the Edelon pulls an awesome cat-like move. Perhaps she learns really quickly. Perhaps she saw the cougar doing that move earlier and just copies it. Sister learns quickly, but is fumbling with her spear. And Rohan taking a sweet time even though the DM generously put him in here, but at least he's not meta. I I don't know where to go. I mean, unless I start shopping my way through the wall. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.